Hello, this is Joel Kovar from EMD. Now I want to show how to use the shape file exporter in the SketchUp integration tool. Uh, with this uh, exporter you can export shape files to a SketchUp project. So I already uh, launched the SketchUp exporter tool here from this button and from within this tool I loaded SketchUp and I also exported some things to SketchUp already uh, and now WinPro and SketchUp are communicating. So as you can see here, I have uh, I'm working on Nuuk, uh, the small city in uh, Greenland, and um, I have a, I have elevation data and exported a few uh, photo montages as well. So now, if I want to show uh, how to use the shapefile exporter, I click on this button, and I can export either just a shapefile, of course, and then also a WinPro objects then that can be exported to shapefiles. So uh, that is uh, the sum of the, of the WinPro objects that, that can that. You can see I already created one, and I could create more that different objects exports in different ways to shape. So now I'll just use a shape file, and I have um, one here uh, with the roads. Let's select it, and then it will ask for the coordinate system, and this is the correct coordinate system. And then I can either export it at level at sea level, and that is fine if it is uh, actually is polygons then that can be closed uh, and not lines. Um, in this case, it is lines, and I want it to be created at surface levels. Um, as you can see now, it it will then follow the the elevation model. So I just run the exporter. And here you can see it, it created a layer for the data. And if I zoom in here, you can see how it follows the, the roads on the map. And you can uh, see it looks uh, quite uh, correctly. I made the, the surface here, I made that semi-transparent. And I think that uh, actually is pretty uh, cool. If I look at this uh, photo montage, you can see uh, a combination of, of the photo and the map. And I think that works quite nicely. And the way to do it is that uh, I go into the materials and then I select what's in the model and find the map uh, surface material and go and edit. And I can uh, change the opacity right here. So that is quite nice. So, um, but as you can see here, the, the road is following the terrain as uh, you would expect. And, uh, and it looks like it's in the correct position. So, okay. So then I'll just show you how it works if the shape data is point data and not uh, line data. Um, here I select another shape file, which contains uh, flagpoles actually, uh, and there are many of those in this city. I will tell you that. Um, and here again, it asks for. Um, the corner system and this is uh, the correct one and I want them created at the surface level and then this button turns up because now I can specify uh, because it's point data what I want to put at where the points are and so far there's uh, uh, only these two uh, things you can add but you can create your own um, models that you want to put where the points are and uh, to do that, it's uh, the same procedure as uh, when you create uh, vegetation and uh, you can have a look at the vegetation exporter demo to see how you do it. Uh, now I'll just uh, take this one and you can see it's 10 meters high. And then I say OK and I will uh, run the exporter. I think I'll just go here to the overview. Export done. Okay, and uh, here put in a lot of uh, markers, uh, and that is where the uh, supposed to be uh, flagpoles. So I'll just have a look here on the photo, and you can see there is actually one here, and there is one here. Perhaps it's a bit tricky to look in more details at the photos, I think there's one here. 
I would say that uh, this photomontage here is not 100% uh, correctly calibrated because it's just uh, made up by a um, mobile phone image I, I got. So it's it's not perfect, so it can explain why the uh, Marcus is not in 100% the correct position. But still, uh, that's uh, the way it works. So um, I think that's about it for this exporter. So thank you for watching and uh, goodbye.